Alright folks, uh, this is a larger subject than any of you will probably give it credit for being. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is about to restart and break physics, folks. Uh, this coming from you, March 5, 2015, from Disclosed.tv. I've heard it from other sources. They closed down about a year back or so because they wanted to do upgrades and something broke. Uh, I won't go into the stats, folks, but I'm going to tell you what I've heard. Okay? You're gonna you're gonna kind of sit there and go, oh, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true. But let me just explain something to you first. The reason they built this large hadron collider was so they could find the particle that gives matter mass. Now that they find it at the moment of impact, they discovered a bunch of things. At the moment of impact, creating that Hibbs boson, they created a gap that's infinitely small in time. But now that they made this thing ten times larger, probably in every fact they can, the reason you go out and you look, folks, for something that gives matter mass is so that you can actually hold that, that gray matter or that spark and that doorway open, folks. You're, you're going you're gonna to call me crazy for this and everything else. But if it gives matter mass, then there is space between the matter and mass and everything else, right? If they can separate that in an instant, they can easily go between it. They can see the things that we can't. Now, true, they probably only get digital scales that come back days and weeks later of this information, but making it ten times more powerful could, and I've heard will, but I'll use the word could, help them to hold that gap open longer and somehow or another, you know, tune it just right and open a doorway to another dimension. Now, you're going to say it's crazy, but look at the science behind it, folks. Okay, why would you need to discover a particle or a phenomenon that, that makes matter, matter have mass? Because you want to find out what's in between, in between the different she sheets of reality, folks. We walk through it like it's nothing. They can go through it. They can open it up and go through. And they can keep it open now, folks. Not in a, Probably no more than, you know, a hundredth of a second. But they can do it, folks. And they're going to keep doing it until somebody knocks on the other end eventually. You watch. There's going to be big progress this time around, folks. Uh, but anyways, it's going to reopen. Uh, everybody's been waiting since January of 2013. Professor Shears is raising her voice over the occasional noise of the fork trucks and everything else, but who cares? Uh, you know, um, according to this, LHC's 2,700-kilometer, or 27-kilometer in circumference uh, you know, the noise can be heard everywhere, folks, on the French-Swiss border. Uh, you know, everybody's basically watching this, folks. Everybody's waiting for that experiment to come true. I mean, everybody's heard the stories coming out of uh, the LHC area about things they saw at night, things they didn't see, strange creatures and shit like that. That's kind of funny because all this shit in that one photograph has hit the internet on it. I'm telling you folks, they're going to make some big fucking discovery in the next six months to a year. It, it, it's coming down to the wire where we got, um, we're very close to a lot of things folks. AI is almost perfected, probably first generation that's useful is probably months away from being publicly announced. We have this thing going up. Uh, we have the uh, 
a few other big scientific things going on, folks. So it's coming down to that wire where we're going to start seeing some really awesome stuff happen, especially with, with the LHC being operational again. So it'll be fun to find out what's going on with that.